Strays. Today I'm going to read Pinocchio. At first time I read until chapter 5. Today I'm going to read all the story. So I will read 6, 7, 8, 9 chapter. First chapter nine, eight, chapter six. There's the chapter six. Meeting a fairy. Up behind, Pinocchio saw a little cottage. He bended his wooden first again the door and shouted. Of the of for help. Poor Pinocchio could still hear the patter of mud drawers feet. Help! He shouted again. The a light went on and the front door she went open. The frightened puppet was invited in by a very polite poodle. My la la my lady is sleeping, he said, but do come in. I will show you to your room. Real, real lifted to escape. Curtain defeat. Pinocchio followed him. You may sleep here, Master Pinocchio, said the puddle. puddle. Breakfast will be servant at night. Pinocchio was so pleased to be safe. He didn't stop to wonder how the Pinocchio knew his home. First, first, Pinocchio met my lady, met the lady of the house. She was a silver fairy who twinkled like starlight. Pinocchio told her about his adventure from the fire eater and the gold coins to the murderers. Gold coins to the murderers in the wood and where are you? Are your coins? She asked. Can I see them? No, said Pinocchio quietly, because I have I lost them. Yes, the word left his mouth. His nose grew a little longer. Where did you lose them? asked the fairy, smiling. Um, in the woods. Lay the puppet in stand till his nose bubbled and leg wait leg or mother maybe I swallowed them. He 
dead by by now. His nose was touching the wall, and the coins were jungling in his pocket. You're lying, he called the parrot fairy. Pinocchio felt very awkward. He turned to run from the room, but his incredibly nose, long nose, got in the way. Soon, the fairy stopped it laughing and took Pitino on him. She opened the window and called the wood pickers in no time. They had picked it, Pinocchio's nose back to its original size. A woodpecker whispered something in the first year. Goodness, cried the fairy, turning to Pinocchio. Your father is in this wood, looking for you. Pinocchio jumped off joy. I must go and greet him, he cried, and give him those coins, added the fairy, pointing to his pocket. With a sleep ship fish ran, Pinocchio raced it out outside. He was lying and the nose went very big. Chapter 7 The Flight of Miracles. Before Pinocchio could find Geppetto, who should and who should he bump into the fox and cat? They they were very friendly and up. Apologized for leaving him at, at. No, let now let's go to find the field of miracles," said the sly fox. Not me, said Pinocchio. I am off to find my dad. Which only if you four coins in your pocket, said the cat. What a shame, added the fox. When you could have twenty, no, I have made up my mind, said the puppet. Goodbye, goodbye, called the fox and cat. See you when you're rich. Pinocchio turned to leave. Then remembered 
his dream of golden trees. Wait for me, he cried, but the field of magical was nothing like Pinocchio's dream. It looked just any other field. It's like my dad going out. You must bear your gold in the middle of the field, said the fox. Then take this petal and throw it in the river, said the cat. When you come back, your gold will have multiplied. Pinocchio girl dug a hole and covered with coins with mud, then ran down to the river. Then he got back to the fox and cat disappeared. He rushed to the middle of the window and dug. Silly puppet, squeaked up Parto. Did you really believe that story? Pinocchio ignored him and dug deeper and deeper until he was covered with dirt. The only thing he found was a worm. Chapter 8 Toyland Of Harris Pinocchio select in the field when the Huge pigeon called out to him. He didn't bother Roger replying. Pinocchio cooked the, the pigeon again. Pinocchio just sniffed. Gepetto is in great danger. In pigeon went on come on quickly before Pigeon called repeatedly. The pi uh, Pinocchio called reply. The pigeon scooted him onto her back. Jerked through clouds and arrived at the sea port. Just as a huge storm blew up, the couple of people stood on the store shore. They were pointing to the small boat, strangely in the rose sea. That poor man, said the wom a woman, he can't even swim. He only wants to fish. Find his son. Sign another. Suddenly a huge wave swamped a little boat. Dad? Pinocchio cried Pinocchio. If I was a good son, you wouldn't be in danger. Then he dived it into the front of 
brought the water. Pinocchio swam and swam. Soon the storm gave it down, but there was still no sign of Gepetto's boat. The wet, miserable puppet was wasted on to a suddenly beach. He heard whooped a lot laughter. Then a gangon of toys appeared. Welcome to Thailand, called the a tiny soldier. Here we only have fun and fun. More fun, cried a jack in the box. I don't want fun. Rob Ned Pinocchio. My dad has just drowned it and it's all my fault. I will cheer you up. Shouted the toys. Watch out, said the talk twinkling voice. They will make you make a fool of you. Pinocchio looked up, hoping to see the fairy. Oh, he could see their gardening toys. Over the next few days, Pinocchio tried it very hard not to have fun, but there was so much to do. The island was one big fun fair with free rides all day long. Whoopee! cried Pinocchio, zooming through the air on the roller coaster. Look at me, he shouted, bonusing nigger on the trampoline. In all the extent, Excitement, he completely forgot about Grapoto. You silly wooden toy, said the fairy voice one afternoon. You are no better than a donkey. This time, Pinocchio in nurture. What did she know about fun? <laughs> the next morning, Pinocchio woke up feeling in chain all over his ears were on a silly heavy and he was growing fur. Never rest he looked his mirror. Oh no cried he cried 
he was turning into a donkey. He couldn't let anyone see him like this without a second second thought he ran to the beach, jumped into the sea, and swam away. Chapter 9 Inside the Shark It was hard for Pinocchio to swim as a donkey. He felt very heavy, and little fish kept tangling on his coat. Then he realized there was needling of here his fear. Soon Pinocchio was puppet once more, but as the swam to shore a rose a shark the sign of an ocean liner rose about the waves. There was a tremendous wish and everything wanted dark. Even totally Pinocchio saw a faint glowed in the the stand. The glow led him to the man reading a candlelight. The old man was served for weeks on foot sub lines for a ship. The shark had swallowed, but no, the food had run out. We are doomed, my son, grapple, grapple sign. This is all my fault, cried Pinocchio. If we was a real if I was a real boy, I didn't get out us out of there here. He grumbled Pinocchio's hand. It's look he insolent I will sit get out he let Grappato on the squirrel chill joining to the shark's mat when were there except was buried to spike teeth Suddenly, the shark let out a giant burp, stirring Pinocchio, the gepherd, into the sea. The brave puppet toward Gepetto to us. Sure, and my ducks, the they were home again. That night, a fairy appeared to Pinocchio in the dream. I will, well done, she said. 
and kissed him. Pinocchio woke up and surprised. He rubbed his eyes and was even more surprised. His hands were wasn't wood anymore. Hearing his shout, Gepetto ran into the room. Son, he cried with joy, you're a real boy at last. Finish. Yes, today I read a story. It was a very long story, isn't it? Yes, next time I'll read more stories. Then bye!